shot out the window here to show you uh, why I'm not filming outside today. Um, here on the west side of town we probably got about between 8 and 10 inches of snow so it's not really conducive for uh, filming at this moment. So for today it'll just be a simple against the wall shot. All right, here we are ensconced in a nice warm living room. Um, this is episode 20 of the Ganja Geezer. And today I'm going to respond to some questions I've got over the last video, um, why I didn't probably get a good body um, high with that strain. And a lot of questions came up about vaporization. So I kind of wanted to do some investigation into uh, vaporization and see um, maybe what I might have done wrong. So, the vaporizer I used, I did an overview of it many months ago, the Vapeer NO2, has a digital, has a digital screen, which is accurate um, between 2 and 5 degrees um, Fahrenheit, is what the Vapeer website said. So, it should be pretty easy to get a, a good, um, um, take on what temperature I'm vaporizing at. Now the last time for the uh, Sweet Afghani Delicious um, review I was vaporizing at 380 degrees Fahrenheit which I think is around 190 degrees centigrade. Um, so 2 to 5 degrees spread, 380 we should be good um, to get the CBD. We'll get into the temperatures about that later. Also, I um, emailed the Vapeer people and asked them what kind of um, device they use to measure temperature in here. And um, this is going to be for you um, oh, um, engineers out there. The temperature sensor they, in the NO2 is called a negative temperature coefficient thermistor. And doing a little research up on those, they say that they are extremely accurate. I mean less than 0.1 to 0.2 degrees centigrade between 0 and 100 degrees centigrade. Now above that they get less accurate so that's probably why the Vapeer claims it's only two to five degrees accurate or it has a two to five degree um, spread at higher temperatures. So I think at this point we can assume that this vaporizer is giving you a fairly accurate um, reading of what the oven chamber temperature is. All right, um, now the question is what are the right temperatures? So doing the research I found that uh, THC boiling point is uh, oh, 153 degrees centigrade. Um, so and I found that in several different sources. Now finding the boiling point for CBD was a little more difficult and problematic. So what is the temperature for CBD? That's what I wanted to get back to. Um, I couldn't really find a specific answer. Um, most people are putting the temperature between 160 and 180 degrees centigrade. And that seems really strange to me because we're talking about a physical constant here. Um, THC is 153 degrees centigrade. Um, CBD should have a very specific temperature at which it boils off. And um, so assuming it was 180, I came across the idea that if you wanted to get rid of the THC in a sample, let's say you have something that's 10% THC and 10% CBD, you theoretically could set your oven to 160 degrees centigrade, let it sit for several minutes, and it would um, boil off a significant amount of the THC. Then kick it up to 180 degrees centigrade, and then you'd start to be able to get the uh, um, CBD boiling off. Now, that sounds like a good idea, and it seems to me at that point you could do something, it's basically what you do is you create a uh, very crude fractional distillation. So the lower, both lower boiling point substances boil off at a lower temperature, you don't want those, they're gone, they vaporize, and then you can get the higher boiling point substances like CBD and um, get a very high CBD dose without the THC. Now further digging provided contradictory evidence to the fact. There was an article um, published on projectcbd.com, I'll put the link in the description down below, um, that quote says THC has a boiling point of 157 degrees Celsius and CBD listed as 160 to 80 degrees Celsius as I've said. However, both begin to sublimate off at even lower temperatures. 
And commercially available vaporizers, even the Volcano, do not evenly heat enough to allow fractionation of one component o over the other. So that, that, this article discounts my idea that you could do a fractional distillation. Now, the word sublimation, if you're not familiar with that, that's, um, that refers to a solid converting to a gas directly from a solid state, solid phase to the gas phase without going through the liquid phase. You know, with water, you have ice, liquid, and then steam. Now, the best example of sublimation is um, f um, dry ice or frozen CO2. You set frozen CO2 on a um, counter, it, you see the vapor come off, you never see a puddle of liquid CO2. At room temperature, it sublimates directly into a gas. So, what they're saying here is that at temperatures even below 157 degrees, THC is starting to sublimate off and come up through the vaporizer. So you can't really do, according to this article, a true fractional distillation. Um, another interesting aside from this article reports that um, CBD is more of a stimulant, is more alerting type compound than tranquilizing. So here we again get more contradictory information. Um, to further muddy my quest for um, good medication. So in summary, after this investigation, I'm left with more questions, the same amount of questions that I've started with. I'd like to talk to you out there, how many of you out there, what vaporization techniques do you have that work for you, and what information that you might have found that's helped you through this um, situation. Um, if I get some information from you, I'd be really interested to hear that. I pro possibly will do a follow-up um, video on vaporization in the future. Um, that's it for now. Um, do click the like button or the subscribe button if you found this useful or less confusing than I did. And um, until next time, goodbye and stay medicated.